Bill Snyder Family Stadium comes to life. A packed house. The Big 12 Championship game rematch here in 20. Johnson in motion. Will they hand it to him? Yes. To the edge, and he'll gain a couple. Three, maybe four on first down. Brad for the tackle. Fun. Help lead K-State to the Big 12 title last year. Off a of play action, a quick toss. Phillip Brooks. He's got a first down and a little bit more across the 40. And a gain of... An opening loss to the Buffaloes. Kansas State now on the move, and there goes Howard into TCU territory. When you shout out the offensive linemen, because they need love, too. Here goes Howard. Howard brought down near the 10, and Kansas State. It'll be Brooks in motion. He'll get the give, and towards the pylon, he ran out of real estate. Stepped out short of the goal. Those touchdown efficiency ratings. Handoff, easy touchdown for D.J. Giddens. Fifth of the season in K-State right down the field on the opening possession tonight. Watch the cutback behind number 50, Cooper Beebe. Just absolutely mauls with... That's what I'm imagining the play calls were. I love it. Hoover out of the gun on first down, wants to sling it deep. Has a man, passes caught near the 20, and a 12-yard pick to Gatorade Player of the Year. Here in the state, Johnson's going to keep it, and there he goes. And a lasso tackle from behind by Brad. Transfer Ward in it, running back. Who wants it? Johnson does. He's got a first down. Johnson weaving his way into plus territory. He is awfully slippery in the. He'll take his time this time. Ward will try to get to the edge, and he does. And it's another first down for Kansas State as he plows his way. Quarterbacks. Johnson wants to throw it, wants to go deep. Man-to-man -man coverage, and brought in, Jace Brown. Crowd quiets on first and goal, late pitch, Ward, and he finds the end zone. Cross the goal line with ease. Six eighteen to go in a fast-moving first quarter. Trayshawn Ward, he ate and left no. That sequence, his team, though. 14 nothing. Here's Bailey with a crease and a big gator. Bailey brought down inside the 30. The Horn Frogs. He'll fake it to Bailey this time. Hoover retreats, fires a strike. That's going to be Williams and another first down on this series. And we were informed yesterday that it would probably be a series by series conversation. Chase Brown makes his second catch. That'll be Keegan Johnson. A move in motion, and he'll get it on the jet sweep and pick up a first down. For TCU defense. Line of scrimmage. I saw Joe Gillespie, defensive coordinator. Head coach Sonny Dykes looking for answers to DJ Giddens. No response here. Giddens to the house. From 61 yards out. With the tight end, so there's either miscommunication there or Shad Banks just gets caught with what they call an place. Running back slips out down the Hoover and the Frogs need six here. Quick strike on the slant. JP Richardson has it, and that'll move the chains right in front of Siegel. Kansas State, but Will Howard is doing a good job of keeping him out of it for now. Ward with a crease and tripped up at the line to gain, and that was close to another enormous. He'll rush four. Fifth defender in the box. Johnson deep again. And it's caught. Jace Brown. How far they are away. And widen the field. Johnson races through a crease. And that's a first down. Well, all that space to try to defend. And a rare stop. Kansas State on offense this evening. Tenet bangs at home. Credit to that sports medicine staff at Duke. Wiley in motion on first down pressure. Hoover escapes. He'll buy some time. And for a moment, I thought Wiley was out. Hoover is, is kind of what's helped result in the drive results. Bailey gets to the edge. Darts ahead to the 35. Gain of seven more. He knows exactly where he wants to go. Roddy, it felt like when you watched him on film, his accuracy really stood out to you, making his first start. That'll be a first down for Bailey. And a Big 12 champions, a couple of early losses. Into the flats, Giddens going to have another first down. But it's funny. Consistently, it's been tough. Giddens the back, Giddens the carry. 
and he'll plow his way to 39. It'll more yards here to keep it alive. Three man front, eight in the box, and weaving ahead for the first down. Will be quiet for a moment as Jackson goes in motion. He'll get the handoff on the jet sweep. Racing around the edge for a first down. And lays the. Jackson will shift on fourth down. All night to throw for Howard. Went through the progression. Fires it incomplete. Fake it to Bailey. Into the flats. And a nifty play call results in TCU on the move. The first TFL of the night for TCU. And Giddens will able to weave his way through traffic to make it third and short. Good. Cats have two timeouts remaining. TCU with all three under a minute to go in the half. Avery Johnson takes off again. Avery Johnson with another first down. Kept his balance across the... To running quarterback like that, but I can understand it. 47th play of the half for Kansas State. There goes Giddens, another big play on the ground. He'll dance. Freshman quarterback on the field. Shifted Brown in motion. Johnson... Finally gets rid of it, and that's Jackson. Upended near the six of eight this season. And the 32-yarder was true earlier tonight from inside the right hash. And he bangs that. A shoot for seven of 17 in the first half, just 66 yards. And he was sacked twice and harassed. It felt like every snap. Great catch by Savion Williams. Four points last week in Fort Worth against BYU. Williams again upended crossing the 40. Come back round in motion. More pressure. Hoover off the back foot. Curtis get back across the 30 and stop. Sanders on the screen, twisting and turning his way across the 20. He will be stopped short. Howard wants to throw it. Ward race out of the backfield, and the crossing pattern caught. And that'll be numbers he's put up on offense this season. Delayed give goes to Ward. And he'll bob his way across the 40. Keep churning the legs across. At a concession stand at a stadium. We have like a candied apple, maybe. <laughs> Ward to the perimeter. Another first down. Where I think that's what okay. they call it. Okay. I think Granny Smiths are green, aren't they? All right. Oh, I don't know. Are they? I'm a Honeycrisp guy. Yeah, they're green. Or an en Envy <laughs> Apple guy. Sweet. <laughs> Six of eight on third down. Here's Will Howard into the flats. Trayshawn Ward pushed out near the line to gain, and this will be close. And more DJ Giddens on the field. And Will Howard's going to keep it. A race around the right side to the end zone and stop just short. Offset eye. Howard play action looking in zone wide open easiest pass he'll make this season on the agenda obviously last year the run to the national championship game but so far in year number two open is Brown a touch Roddy they wanted to get Jace Brown more involved I would say tonight 34 to 3 and a K-State beatdown in progress they've done it by land this time they do it by air Jace Brown in the end zone Feels like they haven't been here in forever. Almost a month since the last home game. Quick strike. Taylor Wright. Glad to get back in this one. Seven in the box. Bailey with a large crease. Bailey running. He'll cut it back and be brought down from behind it. Pressure. And intercepted by K-State. Dead. Five to the ground with the catch. So I, I, I think it's a good call. Avery Johnson has been on campus since January. And there were moments the coaching staff told us. Has handled it as well as he has. Still being productive is a testament to him. DJ Giddens running ahead of the 40. Tackled by Perry. Avery Johnson, the quarterback. Phillip Brooks, the receiver. And Brooks... Ludes one defender and stop near the 45. Some opportunities on the horizon with Houston. A road trip to Austin. And another big gainer, DJ Giddens. K-State has said so far, not tonight. And Avery Johnson retreating and was nearly sacked. So we've seen tonight, nor should he be with the skill set that he has. 
and the experience that he has. And that will be needed in Austin, and that will be needed later this year. That third down and three. Ward in at running back. Howard is the quarterback. He'll retrieve the low snap. All night to throw. Dumps it off to the tight end. And Way State. All Will Howard and all Avery Johnson. Not the former San Antonio Spurs guard and head coach, but the Chris Kleiman, in all seriousness, with Houston coming to town next. Treshawn Ward will pick up a first down. It'll be first and goal. Do you count on tonight? Wildcats remain perfect. Everybody getting a touchdown this evening. And the last one with Will Swanson. Out, you couldn't even hear anybody talk. On third down, Sanders searching for the line to gain. But don't, and he did get there. I don't, a far deeper scale. And even at Iowa State with the picks, the turnovers that went down. There's talent here. I don't think anybody will debate that. There's Manhattan. And this time the slant is there. On fourth and one. My God. Issue is Kansas State's DB is a play to well today. Hoover, 19 of 36 passing. That'll be his 20th completion. DJ Thompson trying to get more involved in the offense moving forward. Off the pump fake. It'll be Thompson again. And enough for a first down. Brock's just her 61st play. And Hoover into traffic in the pass corral. That is a first down. It'll be first and clean snap for Hoover to the end zone and batted down. Down issued by Chris Kleiman's team tonight at home in Manhattan. And the defense swarms wrecked nothing, but it meant everything to that defense. Credit to Chris Kleiman's team 